guys. How are you? I hope you're good. I have not made a video in a really long time, so this is my new video. I'm going to show you how to make robots today. These are a few that I made uh, a few weeks ago, and these are made out of clay. I'm using kiln hardening clay for mine, so the clay that I'm using you have to bake in a kiln, but you could use any kind of clay that you want. You can use air dry clay, you could use polymer clay that you bake in a regular oven, whatever you like. This is the robot I'm going to show you how to make. He's pretty cute, pretty fun. I painted mine with glaze when I was all done, and I'm going to show you that step too. But you could use paint just as easily, so you don't have to use glaze. Glaze you have to put in a kiln. If you don't have a kiln, use paint, or you can just use colored clay to begin with. So I'm going to show you how to make this cute little guy. I'll show you all the steps, and then you can display him in your house. So let's get started. Before I ever get out my clay, I'm going to design my robot first on paper. This gives me a good idea of what the details are going to look like, what kinds of shapes I need to make out of the clay, and gets my creative juices flowing before I actually start playing with the clay and making my robot. So I'm getting different designs, different ideas down. Now I'm going to show you how to make the guy in the upper right hand corner. Now I'm going to get all of my tools and my clay ready to go. I'm going to rip off a little bit of clay here to use. I don't know, I don't need much, maybe about the size of my hand to do this project. I'm going to rip off a few pieces here, try to make them equal in size. And then I'm going to roll both of them into a ball. Now I'm going to take those balls and make them into little pinch pots. So to make a pinch pot, you put a hole with your thumb down to the bottom but not through the bottom. And then you pinch, pinch, pinch around in a circle to make a pinch pot. And you want to get all the walls of the pot nice and even on the sides and on the bottom all the way around. And once I know it's nice and even, I'm going to tap it on the table a little bit just to get the rim nice and even too. Now I'm going to do the same to this piece of clay and I'm going to try to make it as equal to the first pinch pot as I can so that they will fit together to make the body of my robot. Now I'm going to score the clay. That means making little scrapes in it with my scoring tool here. You could use a toothpick or a fork or whatever you have laying around for this. This is to make the clay rough like Velcro. I'm going to add a little bit of water to make it stick. The water acts like glue. Do the same to this pinch pot. And then carefully fit them together. They might not fit exactly 100% because they're not perfect. I'm going to try to fit them the best I can and anywhere they don't fit super well I can always fill in with some clay or kind of smush the clay together using a tool. Now I'm going to use this snazzy wooden tool to smooth out the edges where the two pinch pots meet. It's going to be a little rough at first, but I'm going to squish it together as much as I can to really blend those pieces. And then I'm going to roll it on the table to make that nice and even, smooth, perfect edge. going to set it aside and work on my details now. I'm going to use a smaller piece of clay and rip off some little pieces here nice and even. And I'm going to be using these two pieces for the robot's arms. I'm going to roll them into cylinders, just kind of like rolling a snake out of clay on the table here. So roll two cylinders that are about the same size. And then I'm going to use my wooden tool to make little indents where the hands are going to be.
metal tool here to cut into the edge of the clay and open it up a little bit. And these are gonna be the robot's hands. They look kind of like claws. So it's very simple. I don't need to add fingers or anything. I'm just gonna make a little upper claw and a lower claw, even them out with my fingers. Now I'm going to start working on the robot's feet and its legs. During this time the robot's body is sitting and drying just a little bit so that it's not super squishy when I go to attach all these pieces. So I'm taking a little piece of clay, I rolled it into a simple ball and then squished it down with my fingers. Now I'm tapping it on the table to make sort of a little flat rectangle shape. this piece of clay and use this to make the robot's legs. The legs are very simple. I'm going to take this and roll it just a little bit into a cylinder, kind of a fat cylinder, not skinny like the robot's arms are. Make a fat little cylinder, do the same to this piece, and then I'm going to attach the legs to the feet. I'm going to score the clay. You always score when you're attaching. Score it with my little tool here. Make it rough. Add a little bit of water. I'm not rubbing the water in because that would erase the score marks. And now I'm going to do the same on the legs. Do some scoring and add a little water. Do some scoring and add a little water. Now I can carefully squish those together to connect the leg to the foot. done, I'm going to let it sit for a bit so it can dry. I'm going to let the clay stiffen up for about an hour, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to go say hello to my chickens. Now my pieces are all stiff enough that I can attach them, but they're not so dry that they are all dried out. If the clay's all dried out, it won't stick together. So it's kind of that perfect leather hard feel where it's stiff enough that it's not breaking and denting, but it's still soft enough I can carve into it and attach things. So I'm figuring out where to put the legs, scoring them, and I'll add a little slip and stick the legs onto the body. All right, so now my legs are on, but I'm not feeling too confident that they're really, really, really on there good, so I'm gonna add a little coil of clay right around where the leg attaches to the body just to make sure it's on there really good and it's not gonna come popping off during firing in the kiln. I'm adding a little coil of clay and then I'm gonna smooth it into the body and the leg just to add a little bit of support.
now I'm gonna stand my little robot up. I might need to wiggle him around a little bit, push him down just to make sure he stands well. And then I'm gonna add on the arms. The arms are gonna go right on the sides. I'm gonna add a little water, do a little scoring. Score on the arm too, really good to make sure it's really gonna stick on there. And then push it on. And because I let everything dry just a little, the body isn't collapsing under that pressure. It's totally sticking and totally staying together. Same thing on this side. Now for the best part, it's time to add a face to my robot. I'm going to make this kind of a bubbly sort of a face on my robot. So I'm going to make a big scored area here because I'm going to add a big face shield onto him. And I really need to make sure this is scored well because if it's not, when I fire the robot, the face shield's going to pop right off again. It's really important if you're using kiln hardening clay to score really good and make sure it's really attached. Now I'm going to roll this clay into a ball and then roll it between my hands to make kind of a long cylinder. Squish it down a little bit. This is going to be the face shield. And now I'm going to score this too. Every piece needs to get scored really well just to make sure it's going to stick. Add a little water. Now I'm going to stick the two together. I'm going to start on one end, squish it down, and then push on the other end. Make sure it's nice and even, there's no big air bubbles in there or else that could be where the clay will want to pop apart. So I'm going to try to get it on nice and even, make sure there's no air pockets. Push it down real good. And now I'm going to use my fingers just to kind of blend that clay in. Make it nice and smooth. Now that it's nice and smooth and I'm sure it's on there really good I'm gonna make a ring around this face shield with score marks because I'm gonna add a little bit of clay just to make it look a little bit more fancy because this doesn't really look very robot-y to me so I'm gonna add a little ring of clay to make it look like it's an actual robot part that was added on and not just a weird bump on his body I'm gonna take a little piece and roll it into a cylinder maybe more like a snake. Roll it out really nice and thin. And then I'm gonna take it and just stick it right onto that scored part. Press it down really good just to make a little ring around his face shield just to make him look a little bit more detailed. Next, I'm gonna add his little antenna on top of his head. So I'm gonna score a little bit on the top here. I'm gonna grab a little piece of clay, roll it in a ball. Stick that right on the top there, push it down. Blend it in just a little bit into the head. Make sure that seam is nice and even. Score a little bit more on top of that piece. Add some water. And now I'm taking a tiny little cylinder of clay 
and pushing that onto the top for kind of like a little antenna. And I even want to be more fancy than that. I'm going to add a little ball on top of the antenna too. So I just skip, slipped and scored, added a little ball on top of the antenna so he's super fancy now. now I'm adding a tiny reflection in the face shield. This is what I'm going to paint white so that it looks like there's light reflecting off of his shield. Little tiny piece of clay just pushed on there. And now it's time to give him a little bath. Take the sponge and sponge the whole guy off, getting all of those parts nice and smooth and even, getting rid of all the bumps and lumps and cracks that have developed, make him look really snazzy. Now the robot's all done, I'm gonna let him sit for three days and then I can glaze. And then I'm going to start painting. I'm going to do the body of my robot orange. So I'm going to paint this orange on. This is called Velvet Under Glaze. You could use any kind of glaze that you want, whatever goes with your clay, or you could use paint for your robot instead of glaze. So I'm covering his whole body in orange, and I'm actually going to do three coats of orange on the whole thing just to make sure he's really covered. Now I'm going to use this really cool glaze called Palladium to glaze his face shield. And this looks kind of boring and gray right now, but when it comes out of the kiln it's super shiny like a mirror, and I think that's going to be really cool for his face shield. Next I'm going to glaze all of his details. So. I'm going to use this nice bright blue color because blue and orange go really good together. They are complementary colors. So I'm going to use bright blue for all of his fun details and I'm going to put three coats of blue on all the details. So I'm going to finish glazing all of these little details, three coats of glaze on every little detail. As you can see here, I did put a little hole in his little robot butt. That's to let out steam during the firing, because when he goes in the kiln, he's going to get super, super hot, and we don't want any steam building up inside of the robot, because then he could explode. So I put a little hole in mine. You might not have to do that. If you're not firing yours in a kiln, you'd probably be fine without putting a hole in yours but I'm gonna finish glazing him and then we'll see how he looks when he comes out of the kiln. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you had fun making your robot. Remember, when you're making your robot, yours shouldn't look exactly like mine. Yours is gonna be different than mine because you're a different person than I am. Your art's always gonna look different than mine and that's a good thing. So don't try to make yours look identical to mine. It should look like yours, it's your art. I hope you had fun making a robot today. If you have other things you wanna learn how to make out of clay, let me know in the comments because I can do a lot of different clay videos. I love clay. I can make lots of different things. So I could show you whatever you like. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.